Evan Young is a branch manager at RBC's Main Street and East 49th Avenue branch. He leads a team of advisors to deliver exceptional experiences to clients so they can thrive. Can you tell us about your experience working with IECBC and how you initially became involved? Definitely, it has been a great experience working with IECBC. I've um, actually first got involved three years ago, um, and it was through RBC's um, one of our internal employee resource groups. Um, so at RBC, we have multiple different um, groups which focus on specific areas to support employees. Um, one of the employee resource groups I'm a part of is called our Mosaic employee resource group. So it focuses on fostering diversity and inclusion while enabling the development of minor minority groups. So naturally, um, Mosaic in 2018 partnered with IECBC through the Mentor Connect program and what was our first um, RBC and IECBC mentorship program. And I was a part of that initial cohort. It was an amazing experience, a great opportunity to connect with um, some newcomers to Canada and help them along their career journey. And since then, I've been involved in two other iterations of cohorts. Um, so I had the pleasure of mentoring three different individuals. What does giving back mean to you? And what initially interested you about helping newcomers integrate into the labor market? I think, like I sort of already alluded to, giving back essentially is paying it forward. I think if we look at each of us, we all have things that maybe are strengths or things that um, that allow us to really add, like I said, add value to other people. So I think that's what really is um, giving back. And that can be maybe for some people it's financially, maybe it's people, for some people it's time, maybe it's like a skill. And I think that really is giving back is utilizing those skills for, for good and not just keeping them to, your, to yourself. Um, and like, I, I'm a very big like, proponent for really getting involved and um, supporting the community. Um, when I was younger, I was very active in sports and those type of things. And there were so many individuals that volunteered their time. So that was always been a natural as, okay, if I've had many people in my life give up their time, that was something that okay, as I move forward, I, I want to I wanna pay that back because I've been able to benefit from that myself. Um, with newcomers itself, I think, I think as an individual when I was growing up, I've always been, I'm pretty well-spoken, but I've always been a shyer person. And I think like that sort of reno, resi, like that resonates a little bit with the newcomer community in the sense of they're coming into a new environment and knowing that, hey, I've had experiences not the same as them, but hey, if I can help alleviate whether it's stress or concerns or those type of things from this um, group of individuals, that this would be a, a really rewarding experience for myself as well, but the benefit to them at the end of the day. And I think that's one of the things is um, I've noticed so many newcomers have um, so much to offer. But then, like I said, it's they sometimes don't even get the opportunity to really to, to really like even be put at the table. Um, so that's one of the thing that's really propelled me to be involved with IECBC and really help um, with those individuals. What are your thoughts about the value of integrating newcomers into the BC labor market? Why do you feel it is important for newcomer inclusion in BC's workforce in Canada at large? I think I think it's a no brainer. If I look at Canada as a whole, um, our country is very diverse now and it keeps getting even more diverse because we're a place that individuals want to come to. Um, so we have people from all over the world that want to live, whether it's in, if I look at BC alone, it's a destination for, for individuals um, to come to. And if as an organization, we don't reflect um, the country we live in. So the the employees that we have don't reflect, then it makes it hard to connect. And at RBC, one of our biggest jobs is we are, yeah, we are a bank, but we're a people business. We're all on how do we connect with different individuals? Um, because at the end of the day, it's establishing trust and relationships to help with people on their financial journey. Um, so one way of doing that is having people who have shared experiences. I think um, 
there's diversity in the sense of the different aspects of life that people from different areas of the world come from and those experiences really um, allow one for greater connection to those different groups of people but then the other piece is when we look at the work that we have to do whether it's solving a problem or really coming up with a, um, a new solution or new idea on how we can move forth to better service our clients i think that diversity of experiences creates innovative and new solutions as well um, so not just in banking i think that's how we become better because we have people that are going to process ideas differently and i think that's a little um cliche but then at the end of the day too is in the sense of if i look at rbc as a whole one of our our mission is um, and value is diversity and inclusion is just a, is a core and i think that speaks to um like what i shared as to the reason why um, having those individuals just makes us better and be able to really service the, com the communities that we're involved in. How is partnering with IECBC aligned with RBC's culture or business strategy? L like I just mentioned, I think um, when I look at one of our core values, diversity and inclusion is a big part of RBC. And if I even look at the last year, we've had so much learning as an organization on how we can continue to be better and um, whether it's looking at newcomers as a whole or just different segments and we've seen so much change in the world and um, obviously we have it as a core value but having to work with community partners I think is the sort of the act behind the value because you can set something as a core value but if you don't have like different practices that are embedded within the organization um, then I think that value can sort of fall on deaf ears. And I think that's one reason why I've stuck with RBC so long is um, we we don't just say something as a motto that we actually try to move forth and better ourselves as an organization and individuals and actually fulfill fill on that. Um, and if I look at our mission statement, it comes back to the core of helping clients thrive and communities th prosper. And if I look at communities, that doesn't just mean one community, it means all. Um, so, like, naturally, I would say the best way is through our community partners like IECBC who have that connection to the newcomers and we can really bring what we do best. So giving that perspective on what the financial sector is, help bridging the gap to those individuals that might be a fit. Um, maybe it is for RBC, so that's a win also for us in the sense of if um, there's opportunities for individuals to join the organization, but then also beyond that, that it helps them get settled and find a home. Um, and maybe that's just getting a better understanding of the, the landscape of the financial sector and then finding um, a way in the door and we can provide resources um, through mentorship and just um, career building on how to navigate that work workplace um, in Canada.